Hello Fishing Buddies, today we'll be talking about casting aid for fake spool reels. Here I have the casting aid for fake spool reels. It comes in various colors. These are just a few examples and can even come in glow in the dark. You can use finger stalls which are used to protect your fingers from your lines when casting. But these, you'll have to wear on your fingers every time you cast and may not offer the best protection for your finger in case you make a mistake like I did. It's really simple to use. Just align the line roller on the bail arm with a casting aid, loop the line once, press on the trigger part, and release the bail arm. Just make sure you tighten the drag adjustment. Swing the rod as you normally would and just release the trigger when you want to cast out. It may feel odd at first, but you will get the hang of it after a few casts. The bottom section of my rod fell down with a casting aid taking the bulk of the force causing it to break. So I thought it might be a good idea to show you how I like to mount it. And I will be replacing it with this chameleon casting aid. Ideally, you would want the casting aid to sit parallel to your rod like this. But I prefer mine to be right by the real seat which will have a significant gap between the casting aid and the rod. Also, I tend to put it on the side rather than directly in line with the reel. Let me explain why. If the casting aid is mounted directly in line with the reel, it can cause clearance issues with the bail arm. By adjusting it a little bit to the side, it clears the bail arm altogether and you'd be able to reel in without catching on the casting aid. Here are the things I need to make the casting aid suitable for mounting right by the reel seat. A cling film, UV epoxy, the rod itself, and the casting aid. First I wrap the section where the casting aid will go. Loosely fix the casting aid on it and wrap another layer of cling wrap on the casting aid. I then pour the UV epoxy a little bit at a time. This builds it up, following the contours of the rod, making a custom fit to where I want it to be mounted. The casting aid can be mounted with zip ties, 
electric tape, and by whipping it on the rod, just to name a few. If you're using your rod with both a fixed pull and a multiplier reel, I suggest you use an electric tape as this casting aid can get in the way of multiplier reels. Once the epoxy is dry, you can take it off and trim off any excess epoxies. It should look like this with most of the epoxies build up on the front of the casting aid. I am mounting this using electric tape as I also use this rod for my multiplier reels. A couple of turns is all you need. You do not have to go crazy with the tape. You can see some people suggesting you need to make a couple of turns to make this work. I couldn't tell the difference between one turn or two turns, so I just stuck with just one turn. Here it is again in action in slow motion. I now prefer this casting aid over the finger stall as I don't have to worry about losing the finger stall every time I take it off, as well as I believe this casting aid offers better protection for my casting finger. There we have it. If you found this video informative, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for future fishing stuff related reviews. And if you have other fishing accessories that you would like for me to review, then leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and happy fishing.